Life. Hello guys, VM, the smiling pharmacist, aka the poo doctor, that's my new name. I am uh, about to make myself some oats. I used to tease my fiance, she used to eat oats all the time. I used to call her oat girl. But now, look at me, I'm eating oats myself. So, I have, just, I have determined that on this new sapiens diet, that eating oats is a must. Keeps my bowels regular. And if I don't eat it in the morning, I'm gonna be constipated for two days. Um, I found eating apples generally also helps with my bowel movements. And I'm yet to try an experiment where I don't eat apples and just have the oats and vice versa and see which one works better. I will keep you guys posted. Um, by the way, I'm reading a very interesting book called uh, Eat to Beat Disease. It's by Dr. William Lee. Hello, Maria. Welcome for joining. I'm reading a book by Eat to Beat Disease by Dr. William Lee. And I was just saying how apples are really good to... Um, what are they good for again? I can't remember. Let me have a quick look. My memory is like a goldfish these days. What's going on, Vien? Apples, apples, apples. Do, 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 do. Vegetables, tomatoes, soy, oits, oits. Hang on, folks. We're having a quick check here. Apples, apples, apples. Wow, did I really read this much and not find it? Where's it gone? Fruits, fruits. I swear, I swear it was here somewhere. Okay, Granny Smith apples, red delicious apples, cloudy apple cider. These are all really good uh, anti-angiogenic, so cancer-beating fruits. There you go. I knew that. Maria, thanks for your patience. So, green apples are the best, followed by red delicious apples. Um, if you can, eat it in that order. Uh, that's why I also I also like green apples because they're just very tardy and I like that. Uh, and I was just getting back on track because I get sidetracked so easily. Fiber every day keeps your bowels regular and I am about to have my fiber intake for the day. Uh, if I don't have it, I get constipated for two days. That's not fun. You feel bloated. Um, you go to the gym or you go for a jog and you, you can't quite um, feel the juices flowing. Uh, that's because you're constipated. I don't understand how people can be constipated for like three days, four days, five days, and then come into the pharmacy asking for an enema. I'm like, guys, if you haven't moved for like a day or two, don't you feel terrible? Anyway, that's just a judgment call. Um, that's just my personal judgment call. Anyway, um, really curious to see how you guys uh, are finding this new sapiens diet, aka poop diet. I call it the poop diet because you look at your poop after you chuck a poop and you sniffy sniff, look at the color and look at the shape. Three criteria. If it's no smelling great, no smell. If the color is green and gold, if you're Australian, that would be hard to remember. And finally, if the shape is of a fat submarine. If, they're, if they check all three boxes, I am willing to bet that 99% of the time you're gonna feel pretty great for that day and you're gonna have a spring in your step and what you're eating are the right foods for your body. Now, this diet is not specific for Chinese people, American people, Indian people, because this is according to your body. You eat according to your traditions and culture. And if you're Indian and you love lentils and they give you lots of fiber and it checks all the three boxes and keep eating it. If you're uh, American and you're having, I don't know, um, pork roast with meat, uh, pork roast with peas and vegetables and that works for you, keep eating that. If you're Chinese and you eat bok choy with rice, brown rice, white rice and it works for you, keep eating that. This does not discriminate, it's very democratic and um, it's just how I like it. All right, guys, uh, peace out and uh, try it. Leave your comments in the section below. I really want to hear your feedback because it's a, an experimental diet at this stage of things. I'm Vien, your host, and take care. Bye, Maria. Thanks for joining.
right, all right, having my oats with bananas and a shitload of cinnamon. By the way, cinnamon's anti-cancer too.